Charlie from Novak here. We are going to take a quick look at how to install the Novak 5463 BEC onto a Novak Speed Control. This particular model is a crusher. I like to install my power wires down onto the tabs of the Speed Control versus up on the plug. Um, it goes both ways. Some people say you get better power up here. I'm a big fan of the cleaner install. Um, I start out by doing a little bit of wire prep to the tabs themselves. Uh, a dab of flux right there get the solder out nice hot iron and what you're going to do is just tin that so that when you go to add your BEC wires on there it's real easy to install and just a slight little touch right there so you get a little nice ball solder right on those tips go back later and brush all that off um, my BEC wires, I usually cut them at least in half. We give you a ton of wire in case you have any crazy installs, but for the most part, half is more than enough. Um, so I go to about right there. And there's wire cutters down at the bottom of these guys. Very nice. You can strip both sides at once. Oh, some old wire in there. Nice, Charlie. Put that in there. Away you go. Both of them are stripped. Give those a nice tight twist. Make sure that you don't have any loose strands of wire in there. And then tin those as well. Just a little, maybe not even a dab, just brush some on there. Oops. And then tin those also. I'm trying to get those to sit up in the air. Tin those. I like to do a little extra tin on these guys just so there's a little excess solder. And then if that's a bit long, that's a bit much there for where I'm gonna solder, I can cut those down as well. Just a touch. So that I barely have any wire sticking out. Just cut the about in half of what I stripped off, over cut it just a bit. So now I'm gonna solder these guys right onto here like to point one wire up and away so that in case the insulation gets jammed up or anything it's not likely to come in contact with the other tab Oops. get that to seat down on there now this is a perfect example of a bad solder joint it's sitting up on the solder while it's connected it's going all through the solder you're not getting any contact wire on wire so I'm going to hold that firmly tin this just a touch and then give it just a little bit of pressure to make sure that I get all the way down through that solder. Roll the iron on there a little bit, and then you should get nice uniform coverage all the way around it. And of course, I got that at just the wrong angle. So hit that again, and bring it up just a little bit there. So that I can clear my red wire, and then I can get my red wire down in there also. Same thing with the red wire. I like to put these guys at a bit of an angle so that if the insulation does get mangled, they're not very likely to come in contact with any of the other wires. Lay it down right in there. BEC comes around the other side. There you have it. The other thing that you want to remember um, when you're doing BEC installs is that you have to remove the red wire out of your input harness. Um, some folks will just cut that off. Uh, you can actually remove it from the harness. It's a little bit tricky. You lift up the little black tab that is holding the color, the brass color piece in. Get it just the exacto blade edge under there, and then it should slide right out behind it like that. You can use that so that your BEC does all the work. And there you have it, folks. A nice clean install of the BEC onto a Novak Crusher or anything else that requires a BEC. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email, tech at teamnovac.com, or check out the website, teamnovac.com. Thanks a lot.